dear to see you this time with a video on how to set up your fraps and law recorder to record your games correctly. First off, let's start with setting up fraps. By clicking on change, we can set a directory to where the videos are being recorded. I've set mine to a custom map on a separate hard drive to keep things organized. If you click view we open the map with the recorded videos for easy access of the recording. For sound capture settings, I choose to record Windows 7 sound. I select multi-channel audio, that surround sound, but stereo is also fine. If you want to record your microphone, you can select record external input. This will record your microphone whenever you record with apps. For video capture settings, I choose 30 FPS and full size. This can be quite heavy on older machines and it takes a lot of hard drive space, but it's the best quality you can get. If you want to record shooters, I recommend using 60 FPS if your PC can handle it. For almost any other type of game, select 30 FPS. Don't forget to use full size for the best video quality. The video capture hard key resembles the key you need to press to start and stop recording. As default, it is set to F12. These are the most important settings to use for fraps. This is the long replay home screen. Select my replays to see all of your recorded games. Select browse replays to see other players replays. Back to my replays. Select one of your recent games and you can see match information throughout with all of your and team skills, devs, assists, items and player names. Click on the magnifying glass to see screenshots of your replay. For settings, make sure FrapsFix is ticked on. Select Start with Windows to start re uh, LOL Replay on boot up so you won't forget to turn it on and miss your best games. Also make sure your League of Legends path is set correctly or LOL Replay won't record your games. As default this is set to your C drive and it will be fine on most computers. Replay directory is the place where your replays are saved. You can set this to wherever you want. You're done setting up LOL Replay and Fraps. Let's record some gameplay. To start a replay, just click on the play button on the replay or double click on it. Here you see the game loading like it would normally do, but you also see the Fraps counter in the top left corner. It's yellow, so it's not recording at the moment, and just displaying the actual frame rate. We're in game right now and we can see everything, but we can't control our character, obviously. Let's adjust our minimap size, because I don't like it being really small. We can also see pings and everything that happened in the game, and we can also check out ability details. As said earlier, we aren't recording right now because the counter is yellow. So let's start recording by pressing F12 to start recording. I immediately switch to Fraps quality so you can see the difference between a normal display recorder and Fraps. And because I switched, you won't be able to see the Fraps counter anymore. Here we're just ganking the enemy victor to get an easy first blood. Above the minimap is a little window with some buttons and a bar. The buttons control the replay speed and the bar shows the relative position in the replay. We can slow down to a half speed, we can select normal speed, 
1.5 times the speed and double the speed. We can also pause the replay, but it's a bit bugged right now and causes the replay to lag. To stop recording, press F12 again and you can leave a game like you would normally do. This was everything you need to know to record your games in the highest amount of quality possible for League of Legends and many other games. I hope this little tutorial helped. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Make sure to rate, comment and subscribe for more. Peace.